Round one. Fight. Sure you can. Got the clip. Look at fire. Uppercut. Panic boom. Adulkin. Yo, that fire. Adulkin. Sure you can. Got the clip. Look at fire. Uppercut. We are back. Welcome back to the episode again. Noah's on E-Boy Vajopolis right back at it. Next one up, my damn good man, Kenny P. Recently did a trade with him. Sent me the hot butcher, the hot butcher butter. And uh, so this is the next one up. Wooden Alley, Mosaic, El Dorado, and Rewaka Hop Indian Pale Ale, 6.5%. Three hops that I love. Uh, this says taste and notes of juicy lemon, candied orange, dank berry. We'll throw the berry right out. Swish. We'll see if we get the rest. Get a white. Snap. Kenny P came through with the butch. I was in a real, real, real uh, butch slump. Let's get a little fancy with it. <laughs> All right, there. Stay. All right, so we got a 6.5. We got a single IPA here. Looks very nice, dark and cloudy right there. Campbell Soup uh, broth color. Really, really fro. Wow. Really frothy, slightly off-white hair, almost as almost as frothy as this man mane I got going on here. Um, I see tiny carbonation bubbles, and that's about it. Nothing else. Get a nose. Wow, that's about six point five. Nip pulling this type of smell. Crazy, like stone fruit, apricot, peach. No, I'm gonna give him that lemon. There's some type of like a. Almost lemon lime, like like a motueka type. Definitely citrus presence. Well, they have two. So they have juicy lemon and candied orange. I'm getting a lot of stone for apricot. Apricot's peeking through for me. I have an apricot jelly, all natural jelly, pretty damn good. Eat apricot seeds. Heard they're very good for you. If you could find them, could be the cure, the, the answer. This smells fucking fantastic. So what is it again? Mosaic, El Dorado, and Rowaka. So it's a citrus and stone fruit I'm going to roll with. My man Kenny. Man. Now, just like they do with their 7.5 doubles, 7.5 is an absolute scraping bottom low double for me. They extract so much flavor from their 7.5 low doubles. As they're doing with this 6.5 single. Tons and tons of flavor for a single IPA. And for a single IPA, we're talking medium. For a regular, like a double IPA, it would be light and watery. But the fact that this texture, consistency, coat the mouth, and this big up punch flavor, up punch up front flavor for 6.5, it's magical. I don't know how they do it. Very little bit in this. Very nice transition from front part, middle, and end. Carbonation is very low. Bitterness is clean. Like a little bit of stingy citrus, like orangey type, that li lingers around. Semi-dry. But up front, again, I'm going to go definitely orange. I get, I get where, they're seeing, where they're saying candied orange. I wouldn't necessarily say candied. I'll say a nice dose of orange, like a sweet navel orange. But, um... You know what? I can even see that the lemon. Definitely a lemon aspect here. I was going to say grapefruit, but now I'm thinking lemon. So candied orange and lemon, I think they nailed those two. And I'm still getting stone fruit. There's some type of peach apricot that... I was getting on the smell, and it's going almost, almost all the way through, maybe three quarters of the sip, and then the orange is the only one that lasts. And there's a, a little slight earthy bitterness on the end, but that's just like a regular normal IPA type finish with the sting, man. That that is delightful for six point five. Now we're talking here single IPAs, so on a single IPA scale, this is freaking delicious. I'm going to throw this at a 425 all day. Definitely A minus. If they did that, I wish they'd do this in like a double version. I don't know. Like wooden, instead of wooden alley, wooden back street or something like that. Or, uh, I don't know. 
Just double it up. Make a double version. Maybe a triple version. I love that triple. That'd be fantastic, too. Damn solid single. You will not go wrong with this for a single life. If you're someone who is scared of the ABV and you like to keep it on the lower end, this is you all day. I'm not that man. I like them up here, but I do enjoy a nice single IPA, too. Bear's going to hate to hear me say that, but deal with it. It's life. It's facts. <laughs> My man, Kenny, you did it. You did it right. Second one up from you. The Butch is killing it. Can't wait to get to the rest. Thank you so damn much. Everybody else out there, peace.